Hold it, hold it, man. Hold it. What? Wait. What the f is this kid doing in here? Get the hell out of here before I kick your little ass. So you ever been sitting in class, right? And the teacher just had a long lecture. And uh, the teacher, after finishing that lecture, says, all right, um, does anybody have any questions? And usually, right, you're so impatient, you're just ready for the class to be over, right? You ready to go to lunch or you ready to go home. So you don't want to ask no questions. Even if you have a question, you don't want to ask a question because you don't want the rest of the guys in class to say, oh, man, here he goes. But it's always that one jackass who raised their hand, right? There's always that one just always got to have a question at the end of class. Jackass, right? And usually they ask something stupid. I ask a stupid question that everybody knows the answer to, and it annoys not only uh, the teacher, but you guys included, right? But then there's that person, right, that raised their hand, and then they ask a question you didn't even know you needed the answer to. And now you interested in class for about five more minutes long because you're like, dang, I didn't even know I need the answer to that question. That's what this fight is for me, bro. I did not know I needed to know the answer to this question, bro. But now I'm interested. Who is the better fighter between Sergey Boachunk and Israel Madrima? Here is the craziest part of the scenario. They both fought top-tier guys at 154 pounds. Both of them, bro. Sergey Boachunk floored uh, Virgil Ortiz twice that night. He floored him twice that night. And he lost that fight, which should have been a draw. Let's keep it a bean. That fight between Sergey Boachunk and Virgil Ortiz should have been a draw. Now, Virgil's heart, his, his, his ability to win, his will to win, is what got him off of that floor. But for some guys, they don't get up from those punches. For some guys, bro, they don't get up from those punches that floor Virgil Ortiz. I think he knew he was winning. Um, it was flashbangs at best to him. I think he had the the heart and the ability to want to win, and that's why he stood up. He said he knew he had a couple of more rounds in him, and he just didn't want to give up that night. But to say that he clearly won it, I don't know. I still think that he won it, but I don't know, man. Like if you go back and you watch that playback, bro, those two knockdowns, bro, spoke volumes about the power of Sergey Boachunk. It did, bro. And we think about Israel Madrima stepping into the ring with pound for pound, possibly the greatest fighter in the sport of boxing right now in Terrence Crawford. Nobody gave the guy a shot, myself included. I didn't. Terrence Crawford was at the press conference, uh, the Matchroom Boxing press conference, um, and he stated while sitting on stage, this guy is one of the best guys at 154 pounds. Correction, he said this guy is the best guy at 154 pounds and we all said it in unison across the world but no he not bro we all said in unison no he not bro i didn't say it on my platform for you guys to hear but when he said it when i seen the actual video when he said it i said it then i was like bro, no he not this dude even though i had seen him have his previous fight um in, in 154 and I seen when he won the WBO, uh, WBA championship belt I seen that fight I still didn't think he was the better fighter that night I just felt like maybe he had a great game plan and the guy kept running into things bro the night he seen Terrence Crawford he proved me 100% wrong he is definitely that damn good so we at the end of class they both have lost to top guys in the division one has lost to Virgil Ortiz, who, bruh, is a great power puncher. I can't wait to see what he does at 154 pounds. One lose to Terrence Crawford, who is by far, pound for pound, the man. And now they got to see each other in the ring real soon. This is that person raising their hand at the end of class and saying, but hey, what's up with Sergey Boachunk and Israel Madrimov? Who is the best fighter between those two guys? And, bro, I never knew I needed to answer this question. I didn't know, bro. I can't say. I do think that Sergey Boachunk is possibly, right, the heavier puncher between the two. So I do think that uh, 
Israel Madrimov is going to be stuck into a scenario where he's going to have to box himself uh, to victory. But what you guys don't understand about Israel Madrimov is he has knockout power as well. He didn't get an opportunity to showcase that versus Terrence Crawford. He was in a bit of a dogfight with Bud Crawford. I did have Bud Crawford winning that fight. Although I do think that Israel Madrima went won more rounds than we would give him uh than we would have given him credit for prior to stepping into the ring with Terrence Crawford, right? That night he did win a significant amount of rounds that we didn't give him credit for prior to that, right? But I do think that he still have knockout ability to where Sergey Boachunk could be in trouble. But the craziest thing is Boachunk has a great chin, and so does Israel Madrimov. Not to mention, both of these guys should be sitting at the top of the hill when it comes to 154 pounds and getting another title shot. They both should. If you think about Sergey Boachunk, just losing to Virgil Ortiz should not get him out of the race uh, within that one loss in his career and then you got Israel Madrimo taking his first loss to Terrence Crawford but the guy had like what 10 to 11 12 fights like in, in his career thus far right so that shouldn't get him out of the the hunt e either not to mention both of their performance were standout performances right you could say that they had some of the best fights in these two guys career in Virgil Ortiz and Terrence Crawford that's crazy you're gonna say Israel Madrimo Gave Terrence Crawford a crazy night of boxing, bro. That's going to be crazy for when his history, when he, when he goes down in the history books. Same thing for Virgil Ortiz. He's going to go on the history books as Sergey Boychunk floored him twice in one night. So this is crazy, bro. I've um, got to ask you guys before we go, man, who do you guys see winning this particular showdown when it goes down? It's official. And it's going down on a Tyson Fury versus uh, Alexander Usyk 2 undercard. It's going down there. Um, yeah. Who do you guys think is going to win? I don't know. You, think you got Israel Madrimov right now with only 12 fights in his career. He only had 12. Sergey Boychunk, 24 and 2 with 23 knockouts. Israel Madrimov with 7 knockouts out of uh, 12. Right? So this is a, a even match of two difficult styles, bro. Both of their styles are very difficult to defeat. And um, putting these two guys in the ring is just going to be crazy. I don't know who I got winning this, bro. And I'm pretty sure, right, better money would say Israel Madrimov, right? Better money would say Israel Madrimov. Not only that, but he's seen pound for pound the best star in the world. So if he uh, took any, like, uh, lessons from seeing Terrence Crawford, then he can display those lessons that he learned versus Terrence Crawford in the ring with Sergey Boychunk. But the difference is, Sergey Boychunk seen a crazy power puncher. And he ate, bruh. When I say this dude ate so many haymakers, bruh. He ate so many haymakers from Virgil Ortiz and kept fighting, bruh. He was not floored at all. His legs did look a little wobbly at times, but he never floored. He never got floored. And he floored Virgil Ortiz. With slight punches that you wouldn't have thought was going to floor him, bro. So, it's a scenario that's playing out, bro. I can't wait to see this fight, bro. I was already going to watch Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk, too. Anyways, I was already going to watch it. But I'm definitely going to watch it now. Because if this is going to be the co-main event, that makes the evening ten times as better. To see these two guys who possibly nobody would even talk about seeing each other. Um, seeing it go down in public is going to be um, an interesting night for me to say the least I'm very excited to see these two gentlemen uh, duke it out may the best man win but uh, yeah I don't know who's going to win it man, like I said better money might say Israel Madrimov but I will do a prediction show they're going to show you how interested I, mean, I, I am into this fight I will do a prediction show for Israel Madrimov versus Sergey Borchunk and I'm going to give you guys my official prediction uh, when the fight goes down. But this is Fist Factory. I'm your host, Neff, and I'm signing out. Leave comments in the comment section below, and I'll get you guys in the can again. Fist Factory, your host, Neff, and I'm signing out. Y'all take it easy, eh, bruh. Peace. Brawl Night Champions for members only. Party chat debate for a shot at the community board champion, but remember, it's a fight, so don't get knocked out and lose your place in the ranks. 
or if you're just here to be a part of the spectacle, that's cool too. Sign up for the first tier to get front row seats to each event and get exclusive content not seen on YouTube. No my tier, but don't get kicked out. See rule books for more details. Oh yeah, ladies and the legends are included if you want to spectate or go for some gold. For all night champions, sign up now.